I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the ratio, root, and comparison tests. In problem number 33, we'd like to use the limit comparison test to determine whether the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of sine of 1 over k divided by k squared converges or diverges. All right. One of the trickier things about the limit comparison test and just comparison tests in general is you, uh, as the mathematician, have to make a choice on what to compare this thing to. And there's not really a right answer or a wrong answer so much as some things will work and some things will not work. And so we just have to make a choice of what do we kind of think that this series will behave like? What is it kind of like? And if it is, and also the thing that you think it behaves like, you better know if that thing converges or diverges. So in this case, I've got sine of 1 over k uh, over k squared. Well, this sine of 1 over k, as k gets big, this thing's pretty small. Okay, and uh, since this thing is so small, uh, I think it's going to just be kind of like having a 1 over k squared. So is it really going to make that big of a difference that I have a sine of 1 over k instead of just a 1 here? So that's what I'm going to test out is, is this thing kind of like the sum of 1 over k squared? And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to set up a limit as k goes to infinity of this guy uh, I'll put on the top. So I get a sine of 1 over k divided by k squared and then I'm going to compare that to 1 over k squared. So I know something about this sum because it's a p-series so hopefully that'll help me figure out something about this sum. All right, so I can flip and multiply here, and if I do, I get the limit as k goes to infinity of sine of 1 over k divided by k squared, and then when I flip and multiply, I get times k squared over 1. Obviously, the k squareds cancel, and I'm just left with the limit as k goes to infinity of sine of 1 over k. Now, as k goes to infinity, 1 over k gets close to 0. And sine of 0 is 0. So this just ends up being 0. Now, what happens if I get 0 in the limit comparison test? The rule says that, okay, if you get a 0, and the sum of what you put down here on the bottom, if that guy converges, then this guy converges. It just so happens that since we know already that the sum, uh, k going from 1 to infinity, of the 1 over k squareds, that does converge because it's a p-series with p equal to 2. Since this guy converges, uh, we know that also the sum k going from 1 to infinity of uh, sine 1 over k divided by k squared converges by the limit comparison test. So, uh, we started with this guy that we think it's kind of like, we compared them, we got zero. Zero only works out for us if the sequence that I put on the bottom, its series converges. If it diverges, zero doesn't help us. But if this guy converges, then this guy converges as well, and it just so happens that this guy converges. So very good for us, and we're done.